Hello lads and lasses, welcome to another video. Uh, today I decided, fuck it, and I, I decided to do a hero guide. Uh, I was thinking of doing Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I decided let's go from most powerful to least powerful. Uh, Leia, I'm excluding her from that. Uh, she probably would have been like the 8th person on this list. But, we'll start from the most powerful character, we'll go down to the least powerful. Uh, we're going to start off with the Dark Lord of the Sith, the wife beater, the best friend eater, Darth Vader. Uh, the reason I decided to go with Darth Vader is I think he's the most powerful. Obviously some people think Grievous is, or Luke is, I disagree, it's Vader. Um, and if I'm being honest, I feel like Vader's been on top for like nearly a year now, and that's kind of a bit unfair. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about that now and um, let's get into this uh, before we do um, I'm using footage from a youtuber called Invincible so shout out to him I won't be using like Jabba's or Paul John's I feel like they've already got too much coverage so I decided to use footage from someone who isn't as well known as them so I decided to choose Invincible, and yeah, shout out to you my guy, uh, and while well, doing the sick footage that I decided to pick, so yeah, uh, let's get started with Darth Vader. So, Darth Vader, what is he, where does he come from, who is his nan, no one knows, no one cares. Um, Vader's base health is 800, which is on par with Anakin and Grievous as the highest Obviously Vader can make his health go up to 950 with a bonus health star card. Um, his health regen, 250, which is the average for most heroes. Um, I would put Vader's health status on god tier, if I'm being honest. Um, if Vader had the health regen of Obi-Wan, then that might be a bit mad. Um, <laughs> that would be bonkers. But I'm glad that Vader's just got the normal 250. It's all needs. And that's what I'm happy with. Vader's damage with his lightsaber. Um, it does 130 from the front and 160 from behind. Which is just above average. Which makes it a top tier saber damage. Um, and finally his stamina. His swing speed is 1.7 swings per second. His swing stamina... He can swing 10 times before running out of stamina, and his block stamina uh, allows him to block 14 times before he can, uh, before his stamina runs out. Obviously, that could be improved with a star card that lets him deflect 25% more projectiles and blaster bolts. Um, but yeah, if I had to rate Vader so far from his health, stamina, and damage, god tier already. And we haven't even got to the abilities. So let's go on to them, shall we? So, Darth Vader's abilities. Let's do the first one, which you can activate using LB, L1, or Q. Uh, and that is his saber throw. Uh, this lets Vader cut through pretty much anywhere in his path, it deals damage along the way. Uh, it has a 7.5 second cooldown, it can do 100 per, 130 damage per hit. Now that might not seem good, but the trick is with Vader's saber throw, it can do damage on the way back. Uh, and do 130 damage, which will total it to 260 damage, so that means Vader can take out all infantry, even if they're boosted their health up from the officer. Um, Vader can also uh, increase the amount of damage his saber throw does on the way back. Um, it's called Intensify Saber Throw, which lets him do 30 plus damage, which ups it to 290. Um, yeah, there's nothing else much to say. Uh, if I had to rank it, I'd rank it top tier. I won't rank it god tier. Uh, but speaking of god tier, let's move on to the LBRB ability or L1R1 or E, uh, and that is Focus Rage. Now, this gives Vader 200 health and doubled his stamina for a certain period of time, and that period of time is 10 seconds. Uh, it's at, the focus rage is activated for 10 seconds before the cooldown and obviously you can read there it charges the dark side of the force and focuses his rage um, 
deals bonus damage as well. Uh, it ups his damage from to by 15, so you can do 145 from the front and 175 from behind, which is fucking nuts. Um, obviously, it lasts 10 seconds before a cooldown. It can last longer. It can last up to 16 seconds with a certain star card, uh, which I think is fueled rage or something. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I forgot it. But uh, also the best thing about this ability is that it has a 15 second cooldown which is about average for most abilities but this ability is so OP that it should be the time of the choke but it isn't and that's what puts this ability at god tier is that you get stamina increase, health increase, damage increase and also you'll be able to get damage reduction which I'll talk about in a minute. Final ability is RB or R1 or F button and that is the choke. This could deal up to 126 damage to each player that is grasped in the choke. The choke drags the enemies off the air in into the air for about two seconds and then Vader drops them at his will. Vader gets 20% damage reduction from this choke guaranteed. Um, he can also block an attack during the choke which makes it even more powerful. The problem with this choke though is that you can't turn as well, it's just like very slow, it's like you're on 10 sensitivity when you turn in with Vader's Choke. And also it has 25 second cooldown, which is the main problem. Because this ability should have at least a 20 second cooldown, not 25. So for this ability I have to put it in top tier with the lightsaber throw, but it's slower than the lightsaber throw for me. Um, but that's the abilities. Let's move on to the star card layouts for Hero Showdown, HVV, and then the large scale modes. So, um, I want to just say one thing, and um, for all these modes, I will be having that card on Furious Resilience 25% uh, damage reduction with 200 health, double stamina, and increased damage is fucking nuts. Um, <clears throat> but aside from that, Hero Showdown, I have gone with Furious Resilience, Intensified Lightsaber Throw, and Punishing Grip. The reason I've gone with these is that that's just an OP card. That gives you more damage with a throw on the way back, because not a lot of people really pay attention to it on the way back, or they don't really time it well. And also it's a more reliable killer on the battlefront. And also Punishing Grip, it gives you more time to adjust and to maneuver your next attack with the uh, choke hook swing saber throw combo with it it'll give you more time to manoeuvre as well and also to pick out your next targets for HVV I would take out I think I might take out pushing grip and go for either fueling the rage or um, bonus health I always flip flop between these two I used to use pushing grip but it's not really necessary uh, but uh, for this I'd go with bonus health if you want to just go full on power, go with you with the rage, honestly. I don't feel like Vader needs the bonus health, but I have it just in case. Uh, it's pretty much a lightsaber for Vader. But uh, for this game of HPV, I'm going to do, I'm going to do fuel with the rage. And with Supremacy, I take out Intensify Saber Throw, putting bonus health. And I would either flip fuel with the rage and surround by fear. Uh, this gives you 20% da uh, stamina regain. When you defeat an enemy, which is kind of useful for Vader, so he'd be able to go on more of a, a more of a uh, rampage, and also set a star card uh, deflection stamina, stamina drain reduction twenty five percent gives you more defensive capability. Uh, only on blasters, not on uh, sabers. That's the thing, though. It's not for sabers; it's just for blasters. So I won't use this in H three V unless there's a layer off layer or Chewy on you, but Chewy could go through blocks so, but the setup I use most for uh, GA Supremacy is that combo there, um, but yeah that's the star cards I use, um, as always I'm going to mix up my hero guys compared to everyone else's, I'm actually going to do a game of HVV to prove my worth on these cards and show you why these cards are worth it. So I'll come back to you in about two hours when I actually have a game. 
Okay, we have finally found a game. Um, ah, <laughs> that's great. But yeah, um, before I forget to say this, um, we are not pushing back the chase anymore. It's happening this weekend, no matter what. Um, we haven't been able to work on it a lot recently, but we are working on it now, and we're finishing it. Just a time difference in America and England might be a bit too strong, so we don't get much time. But it's happening this weekend, no matter what. Fish it or not, we're doing it. Um, what else? Director's notes. Yeah. It's already the last draw, Jesus. Um, tomorrow I'll be doing my top five TV shows of all time. Um, I was thinking of starting a new series called TV Tuesday, uh, where I just, every Tuesday I'd do a video about television. Well, I'm not too sure yet. Um, and I was going to do film Thursday, where I'd do a film review every Thursday. Um, but I'm not going to do that because that's not what I want my child to be. I don't want it to be a review. I just want it to be me. Just enjoying films, not reviewing them. I might review them someday, but today's not that day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of working my ass off. Um, this Friday, uh, it's half term for my school, so I'm going to be working my ass off. Um, because March the 8th we go back to school and as soon as we go back we're doing mock exams again because uh, you know in England you are given predicted grades now instead of your actual GCSEs um, which I mean I don't mind because my grades are already good as they are but I would have liked them to have been a bit better but I've, with my predicted grades I've got what I need uh, I just want to improve them Skywalker. Kill two Skywalkers with the same blade. That's what that happens. Three Skywalkers with the same blade. I don't care she's a Skywalker in my eyes, alright? Where do you, where do you... No, Dad. <laughs> Palpatine died. Not by me this time. <laughs> yes. Chuck bitch. Oh, damn you, Kylo. This is going to be a very good game on our hands. Gonna be behind there. Yep, got him. <laughs> Good for Vader's thing. You can still hit people on the way back through walls. So if you kind of tie time it right, you'll be able to hit someone who's hiding behind a wall from you. Which is why I love Vader's saber throw more than his choke. Honestly, I feel like his choke's a little bit too much of a liability sometimes. Gotta hide here, do that, and do that. And jump! <laughs> Damn! That's why I want to do most powerful to least powerful um, for the hero guides. It just makes sense, honestly. Um, next up, uh, after Vader on Friday, I'm going to do General Grievous, and then it's Luke. Then Anakin, I'll just leave it at that for now. I'll let you guys have fun with the rest of it. There we go. And also, um, 
I'm not going to be copying Star Wars Fury here, but I'm thinking of doing a Fantasy Versus series. So, um, I've had this idea in mind for a little while now, I just didn't know how to execute it. Basically, I've just picked two people like that. Um, let's think. Iron Man versus Obi Wan Kenobi or something. Uh, see, uh, I would decide myself um, who would win out of that. Uh, I know Star Wars Fury yesterday, um, I recorded this on Wednesday the 9th, I think it is. Wednesday the 10th of February. Um, last night, Fury did a video with Josh. Um, Vader vs Superman who would win and they decided it was Superman uh, obviously I, I would agree with that <laughs> um, Superman is just too powerful to lose to Vader like the only reason Vader is powerful is because of how vulnerable he is and he uses his vulnerability to strengthen him on but Superman is just powerful without that and obviously um, they were talking about how the forces and everything and how um, Clark Kent would probably have both the light side in him but that depends on if the fight takes place in the Star Wars universe or the Superman slash DC universe um, I would like it to take place in just a in nowhere like just probably just somewhere like I can't say Earth because Superman's on Earth, so that won't be fair. Like just, just somewhere in the middle of space in a massive box. Because like, I feel like every fight, no matter what you do, is always circumstantial. And Jesus Christ, got stabbed so many times. But yeah, no matter who you pip against each other, like um, General Grievous versus Hawkeye. It's always circumstantial. I mean, does Hawkeye have his arrow? Does Grievous have his lightsabers? Um, which Grievous is it? Clone Wars Grievous or Episode 3 Grievous? Um, which Hawkeye is it? Like, it's just all circumstantial, yeah. Like, obviously you'd want to take both of them at their peaks and do it against each other, but that's besides the point um, but yeah I'm planning on doing that every uh, every Sunday uh, this Sunday um, I don't really know who to go for I might do uh, the two combo well the two fighters Captain America vs Batman that might be a good one I'll do them two actually yeah Captain America vs Batman who would win um, leave comments, actually no, I'm disabled comments, uh, how do you know, um, there's no polls, so, uh, it don't matter, um, tweet at me at channelhunter419 who you think would win, Batman or Captain America. Personally, I think... I think Steve would have a good chance. Bruce would obviously. Bruce's martial arts is incomparable. Um, but obviously, Steve, well, Cap is more of a uh, more of an agile fighter compared to him. Um, actually, no. Why am I discussing? I'll discuss it someday. I think I'm maybe doing a live stream about it, like yeah, just picking three fights, and just having like ten minute discussions over it with a couple of people. Um, I'll think of maybe doing it every Sunday, or maybe do it in between, um, in between the Marvel TV shows and Star Wars TV shows. Um, it's like maybe in between One Division and Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'd do it then, or a couple then. Um, what else? Give me a second, hard soul's gonna kick my ass. Oh, no. My ass whipped! 
I can't really complain about level just lay up with my 150. Anyways, um, but yeah, I have a lot of ideas waiting for my head. I'll think of doing stream on Friday just about Minecraft. Because I can't. Oh, pfft. Decent game, I'll take that. Uh, but yeah, uh, we lost in this game. I don't really care, I did good. I. I think I did my duties there as Darth Vader. Could have done better, but. I've just proven to you why I think you should use Carter Vader, and I feel like I've proved it. But, yeah, uh, let me uh, get out of here and do my outro. So, uh, thank you all for watching today's Hero Guide. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, like I said, I've got a couple of plans on the way, as you can see here. Um, this is my video on Falcon and the Winter Soldier reacting to the trailer. Um, if you want to go and watch that, I'll leave a link in the description or actually, I'll leave it as a video in the outro. Uh, please make sure to like the video. Um, it will help me in the algorithm, it will push my video out there more and it will bring more attention to the channel. Um, also subscribe because I want to get to a hundred subscribers before my birthday. Um, we're at seventy one right now, so we need twenty nine. Uh, I think we can do that pretty easily. Um, we just need to work together and just get it out there. Um, so thank you all for watching today's video. Um, stay to the end for a special surprise, and the special surprise is that your boy is. I just want to say thank you. Uh, obviously, there's been a couple of trolls on my channel recently. Uh, and it helped at all. Um, but yeah, uh, please go check out my video on Falcon and Winter Soldier, the trailer reaction. And also, I'll also leave another link to um, to another video on the right side. You'll see my channel up top in the middle and yeah I hope you all enjoy take care and peace